Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, Mo the monkey woke up to a bright and sunny day. He stretched his arms wide, yawned a big yawn, and looked around his cozy treehouse. But today was not like any other day. Today, Mo saw something very unusual. From the corner of his eye, he spotted a soft, shimmering glow. It was coming from deep inside the forest. Wow, what could that be? Mo wondered, his eyes wide with curiosity. He had never seen anything like it before. Mo decided he had to find out. He quickly ate his breakfast, which was a yummy banana, and then swung down from his treehouse, ready for a big day. I'm going to find out what that glow is, he told himself, feeling excited. So, Mo started his walk into the forest, not knowing what adventures were waiting for him. The birds were chirping, and the morning dew sparkled on the leaves like tiny diamonds. Mo felt happy and couldn't wait to discover all the magical things that were hiding in the forest. And so, with a heart full of joy and curiosity, Mo the monkey began his journey towards the mysterious glow, ready to find out what magical surprises the day had in store for him. As Mo the monkey hopped and skipped deeper into the forest, the glow became brighter and brighter. He played a little game, pretending to be a detective on a secret mission. I must be very close now, he thought, his heart thumping with excitement. Suddenly he heard a sound. Twinkle, twinkle, it went like a tiny bell. Mo followed the sound until he reached a clearing where the sunshine danced through the leaves. In the middle of this magical spot was a pond glittering under the sun. And there, right by the pond, was the source of the mysterious glow, a beautiful glowing stone. Mo had never seen anything like it. The stone was as green as the freshest leaves in spring, with little sparkles dancing all over it. Hello, who are you? a voice said. Mo jumped a little, then saw a friendly-looking frog sitting on a lily pad. I'm Mo, and I came to find this shiny stone, Mo replied, trying to sound brave. I'm Freddy the Frog. That's a magic stone. It landed in our forest a few days ago, said Freddy with a wide smile. A magic stone? Mo's eyes grew wide with wonder. Yes, and it's very special. But to find out why, you'll have to solve a riddle, Freddy chuckled. Mo loved puzzles and felt his adventure just got even more exciting. I'm ready for the riddle, Mo declared, his voice full of determination and excitement. Freddy the Frog looked at Mo with twinkling eyes. Here's your riddle, he croaked happily. I'm light as a feather, but even the world's strongest monkey can't hold me for much long. What am I? Mo thought really hard. He scrunched up his little monkey face, thinking about all the things he knew. Is it a cloud, or maybe the wind? Mo guessed, looking around the forest for clues. Freddy just smiled and shook his head. Think about what you can't see, but is always with you. He hinted. Mo thought and thought, and then, like the sun breaking through the clouds, he got it! Breath! The answer is breath, Mo shouted, jumping up and down with joy. Correct! Freddy clapped his webbed hands. The magic stone shines brighter when smart and kind hearts work together to solve problems. Suddenly the magic stone glowed even more, bathing the whole clearing in a soft green light. Wow, it's so beautiful, Mo said, his eyes sparkling. But the stone is not just beautiful. It's also powerful. It can help make the forest even better but it needs to be placed at the forest's highest point before the moon rises tonight," Freddy explained. Mo felt a big mix of feelings. He was happy he solved the riddle, but worried about how to get the stone to the highest point in time. Don't worry, Mo. I'm sure you'll find a way, Freddy said, believing in him. Mo looked at the big hill behind the trees. It was the highest point in the forest. That's where I need to go, Mo said bravely. But he felt a little scared. It was high and the path was twisty. Just then, he remembered Freddy's words about working together. Maybe I don't have to do this alone, Mo thought. So, Mo asked some of his forest friends for help. There was Jerry the giraffe, who could see far paths with his long neck, Ellie the elephant, who was strong and could clear the path, and Lila the bird, who could fly up and show the way from the sky. Together, they started moving towards the hill. Jerry spotted the best path. Ellie pushed aside the big rocks. Lila cheered, we're close, from above. As they climbed, the sun started to set, painting the sky in orange and pink. Mo held the magic stone tightly. He was a little tired but happy because his friends were with him. Finally, they reached the top. Just in time, Mo placed the magic stone on the highest point. 
The stone shone so bright, it lit up the whole forest with a warm green glow. We did it together, Mo cheered, and all his friends cheered too. They felt proud and happy, because together they had done something wonderful. As the magic stone's glow covered the forest, magical things began to happen. Flowers opened up, showing their bright colors even in the night. Trees grew fruits that sparkled a little. Even the pond where Freddy lived started to bubble with laughter-like sounds. The magic stone is sharing its magic, because we work together, Mo realized. Standing on the hilltop with his friends, looking at the beautiful glowing forest below, Mo felt very happy and warm inside. Then, the stone whispered a secret that only Mo could hear. Whenever you help someone with a kind heart, magic will always be there. Mo smiled, knowing this was the best adventure ever, but it was time to go home. He thanked his friends, promising to have more fun adventures soon. Jerry, Ellie, and Lila waved goodbye as Mo and Freddy headed back through the now sparkly forest. When Mo got back to his treehouse, he was tired but couldn't wait to tell his family about his day. Today I learned that when friends help each other, we can do big things and make the world a little bit better, Mo told them. And with that thought, Mo fell asleep, dreaming of his next big adventure. Outside, the forest shimmered in the moonlight, a silent thank you from the Magic Stone for the kindness and teamwork of Mo and his friends. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you liked this video, please go ahead and push the like button. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.